Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anubhav and I'm Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco Systems. In this video, I will talk about next generation firewall scalable design. I'm really excited to share this new design with you. Before I talk about uh, scalable design, let me talk a little bit about what next generation firewall is and what it can do in public cloud. Next generation firewall can provide you features like VPN, firewall, next generation IPS, URL filtering, and advanced malware and protection. This virtual appliance is available in marketplace of Azure, can be deployed using Azure Wizard, or you can deploy it using ARM um, template as well. This virtual appliance can be managed by a firepower management center. This firepower management center can be deployed in your data center or it can be in public cloud as well. Uh, you can deploy this virtual appliance in routed mode to protect your workloads. Uh, so with this virtual appliance is a one gig virtual appliance. And if you need more throughput, you can deploy scalable model. What are the advantages of using scalable model? Uh, you can scale out your inbound and outbound traffic. Uh, if there is a failure, uh, then other firewalls in the backend pool or in the pool can provide you services. Uh, this model is pretty common. You, you can deploy firewalls with Azure load balancer internal and external so let's let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this design in detail so this is how you deploy this model first of all I would like to uh, tell you that it is a stateless switchover in case of a failure connection has to be reinitiated so you have multiple firewalls behind external load balancer and internal load balancer um, external load balancer is used for scaling out your inbound connection. So any user coming from internet can land up on any firewall. When your firewall will receive traffic, it will send it to destination uh, workload. And at the time of sending the traffic, firewall will source not it because we need that traffic back on the same firewall. For outbound traffic, we use a different kind of load balancer, which is internal load balancer standard with HA port functionality. Uh, this uh, ILB is in public preview now, so you can use it and use this uh, ILB as a next hop in your UDRs. And once this load balancer will receive traffic, this load balancer will forward the traffic to your firewalls. This is how you can scale out your outbound traffic. Uh, the other kind of inspection which we generally see is when you have your data center connected to Azure Cloud using Express Route, you can use this model and still uh, forward traffic to firewall for inspection. Let's talk a little bit about traffic flows. Uh, user on internet will hit your external load balancer front-end IP address on the external load balancer. This traffic is received on external load balancer and then external load balancer will forward that traffic based on the load balancing rule. And um, at the time of sending this traffic, uh, firewall will source not it. Other kind of traffic flow is outbound traffic. If your web, a web server or application server or any workload in your uh, in your environment would like to reach internet that traffic is forwarded to ILB based on the UDR and uh, once that traffic is received on ILB, ILB will load balance that traffic and send it to internet but while sending the traffic firewall will source net it to outside interface and forward it to external load balancer so internet user will see IP address of ELB as the source address. Another important traffic flow is east-west traffic. So you have web uh, server talking to database or other way around. So if traffic is initiated within your VNet, that traffic will again land up on ILB. ILB will then forward it to firewall. Firewall will apply security policies and forward that same traffic back to the, um, um, back to the destination subnet. 
This green flow that you see here is for any traffic coming from your data center. Traffic will come through express route. It will land up on virtual network gateway. And on the virtual network gateway, we have uh, a UDR, which is applied to gateway subnet. Because of this UDR, traffic will always go to ILB, and ILB will again forward it to firewall. So this way, you can achieve uh, different kind of traffic flows. Let's talk about SourceNet and uh, Network Security Group. In this particular model, when you deploy firewalls, we would suggest you to allow everything in your NSG and control traffic on your security appliance. Uh, we don't want you to um, do a double uh, rule uh, inspection, once on NSG and once on the uh, firewall. And the other requirement from Azure is if you deploy firewalls in availability set and you use um, um, ILB standard, you should explicitly allow traffic in your NSGs. So um, recommendation is to allow everything in, in NSG and uh, control traffic on your virtual appliance. For outbound traffic, uh, traffic is source netted on outside interface of the firewall. For inbound traffic, traffic is source netted on inside interface of the firewall. Probes. Probes are really important because uh, when these load balancers will track your firewall, they'll, they'll use probes to monitor firewall. So uh, for this design, we suggest you to use port 22. And uh, we are not only probing firewall, we are probing through the firewall. So any traffic that you see on firewall coming from 168 address, that is the well-known uh, address of load balancer so that traffic if the traffic will hit inside interface of the firewall on port 22 we will send that traffic out via outside interface and we will source NAT it to outside interface and we will translate destination to management interface address this way we probe a uh, probe firewall and we make sure that traffic is seen through the firewall and in case there is no reply from management interface for some reason, uh, we will assume that firewall is no longer available and that firewall is removed out of the backend pool from there. Similar kind of probe mechanism is used for external load balancer as well. Uh, same way you will use port 22 and uh, create a NAT statement uh, on the device. You will add routes uh, to allow this probe traffic. Uh, when this probe is received, uh, it is source netted to inside interface and we will translate destination to uh, IP address of the management interface. This is how we make this probe to work and uh, you can add multiple firewalls in the backend pool and you can associate these probes with your load balancing rule to forward traffic to these particular firewalls. Now let me give you an example here. This is a screenshot from my firepower management center which I have collected in order to show you NAT statements. Uh, first of all this Azure-LB-address is a well-known address 168 63 uh, This IP address is IP address of uh, Azure Load Balancer and I have also specified management address. So first statement that you see there uh, is, the, is for probes coming from inside. So this is for internal load balancer. So any traffic coming from inside uh, going, going to outside interface is source netted to outside interface and we change destination as well. Second statement is for probes coming from outside to inside. Third statement is, is a translation for a web server um, that I have in the web subnet. So anybody accessing port 80 on the interface address, that traffic is forwarded to a web server because of this translation. Fourth sta uh, statement that you see there is a path statement for outbound traffic. So any traffic leaving firewall is padded to outside interface of the device. 
same kind of configuration is there for firewall 2 as well so everything is same apart from the management address in the previous example I used management address for firewall 1 um, but here I have used a management address of firewall 2 we need to add routes for management interface and uh, we need to add routes for load balancer and apart from that we also need routes for uh, web application and database server uh, and a default route so if you look at uh, 2.1 IP address 2.1 IP address is a first IP address of the external subnet which is uh, Azure gateway so I forward any traffic to that particular gateway and it knows how to route traffic to internet it knows how to route traffic to other subnets within the same VNet uh, and 3.1 is first IP address of, um, uh, of internal subnet and it is um, Azure Gateway. So, uh, and it also knows how to reach other subnets within the same VNet. Same kind of routes I have applied for, um, for Firewall 2 as well. So similar kind of configuration, only difference is instead of uh, management IP address of uh, firewall 1 I'm using route for uh, management IP address of firewall 2 so in this video I tried explaining you complete design how we scale out our network our outbound as well as inbound traffic in next video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step deployment of uh, entire setup um, I would be dividing part two into multiple parts because uh, deployment can be uh, pretty big. So I'm going to start off with uh, initial deployment, how to create resource group, how to create VNet and uh, subnets, route tables. So I would be dividing that. Stay tuned for part two. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.